How's it going everyone? Family 52 back again and today we're going to be continuing our playthrough of Final Fantasy 7 Crisis Core Reunion. Let's get going. Welcome back everyone. In the last episode, depending on when I put this up, I either completed chapter 1 or I uh, did a bunch of missions here in chapter two. Uh, that being said, I have gone through and I have reloaded my chapter one complete save uh, because I wanna do things a little bit differently than what I did uh, in the other episodes. I don't know if, they're, if they are up right now or not, um, but if they are up, I will do my best to rearrange this in the playlist so that it comes out right after uh, episode one or chapter one in the playlist itself. But what we are going to do is we are going to do quite a fair bit of magic pot farming uh, before we get anything else here in chapter two. Now that said, uh, right here in the beginning after we stop or after we get through the opening cutscenes when we walk out of the briefing room console is going to bring us into the town and that is actually exactly where we want to go uh, for right now here in the story because uh, what we are going to want to do is uh, while we're in the town we are going to go ahead and talk to uh, the security guard here in town now, we're not really going to be doing much with the security guard here in town, uh, but we do want to talk to him. I have already spoken with him. He would normally be standing basically right on that manhole cover right there. Uh, but yeah, you want to talk to him, and that is going to give us access to some security guard missions, which we're going to be doing a bit later. Um, after we talk to him, by the way, you can talk to everyone else in the town. Uh, you can join these two's fan clubs, and then there's someone else over there on Lovelace Street, or whatever that street is called. Uh, but once we talk to that guard, we are going to want to come back in here, into the Shinra building, and go back up to the soldier floor, and we are going to be talking to uh, the Materia people. And it is very important that we talk to the Materia people. Uh, because they are going to be giving us a few missions that are going to make our magic pop farm uh, doable. So when you come in here, talk to this guy. Uh, the hey, first time I talk to him, he's going to talk in. to you about needing some some Mako stones. I've already gone through it. I'm going to hand him the luck Mako stone right now because I happen to have that well, in yeah, my inventory. Uh, we're not going to watch. We don't now need to. We, we still get attack. our Forget Mako Luke. anyway for completing it. Uh, which in this case is going to be region, which is a very nice materia. Uh, but anyway, once we talk to him, he is going to unlock uh, mission 81-1, or at least I believe it's 81-1. Now, even though we have a save point right here where we can access all of our missions, we do not want to use this save point. We're going to want to go back down to the entrance. Um, there was, there is a woman here that I know in the original PSP version uh, would heal you. I went to the wrong section, uh, but she would heal you after missions if you spoke with her. Uh, here in the uh, remake reunion, uh, that is not all of that necessary. However, when you speak with her right here, here in the remake, uh, she will give us a potion that we could drink. And I don't know if this was the case in the original PSP version, but after we drink the potion, uh, I feel good enough to weather one beating on the battlefield. Uh, now that means that we have a auto res, we have an auto phoenix down. And that is going to last until we use it. Which, depending on your luck, you could need to be uh, coming to her after every mission or you might never need it but it's always better to have it and not need it than to need it and not want it but anyway once we do all of that setup we're going to come here to the missions and what we're going to do we're going to come down here to mission 8 Zack the Materia Hunter 
we're going to completely skip doing 8-1. We are not going to be getting Ifrit yet. This is right off the bat a major change from what I did in my main little blind walkthrough. I have since seen the light and I am not getting Ifrit yet. Uh, instead, we're going to come here to 8-2, and we're going to be completing 8-2-1 uh, through to 8-2-5. That's all we're going to be doing right now. Just 8-2-1 through 8-2-5. Once we do these five missions, we are at that point going to go back up to the uh, to the Mako stone research people, give them all five of those of those Mako stones, and they're going to give us a few materia that are going to be very nice for what we're trying to do. They're going to be giving us the poison materia. They're going to give us, I believe, an Asuna materia, uh, one other materia that I can't think of right now. Uh, but the most important materia they are going to give us is going to be the gravity materia. That is incredibly important for what we are trying to do. In fact, it is required for uh, unlocking, unlocking magic pot. So now, once we have gotten all of those completed, uh, we, are, we are going to go ahead and return. At that point, if you want, you could do 8-2-6. Um, run through one of the treasure chests here will contain Fyra, which is another materia that we are going to need for magic pot. Um, and at this point, having the gravity materia and the poison materia can help you with this mission, but we don't actually need to do 8-2-6. Um, instead... Uh, what we are actually going to do and what is going to be the most important for us to do is to back on out and come up here to mission M6, M6-1, and we're going to do M6-1 all the way through to M6-5. Now on M6-5, we are going to need to fight a creature in here that is not actually needed for the completion of the mission. Uh, so I'm going to run across the edge of the map right here and looking inward, and that is going to keep random enemies from spawning. Now, if this is your first time through here, right where I am currently standing, there will be a treasure chest containing a Fyra Materia, which is why I said getting the Fyra Materia earlier isn't exactly necessary because we do get a free one right here. But moving on, we are going to see this guy right here. This is a Tonberry, which can be a little scary, a little worrisome to take on. If they touch you, they will wreck you. But they are not immune to gravity. So gravity takes a quarter of an enemy's health and just deletes it. So... We are going to go ahead and start combat our combat with the Tomberry, and we're just going to spam gravity. Oh, another thing that I should have mentioned earlier, I have the curse ring equipped right now. And that is because uh, it is said, I do not know how true it is, but it is believed that the lower level you are for magic pot farming, the better luck you will have getting magic uh, getting him to spawn so if that is true or not I do not know I am going to be level 8 while I am trying to take on magic uh, the magic pot so we will see how well that goes ow let's go ahead and take him out Oh yeah. and then at this point let's go ahead and heal on up at this point we just complete the mission as normal uh, we will not see anything pop up for doing that right now, but we have just Activating combat mode. more or less caused uh, kind of a chain reaction to happen. I need to move. I need to move. Let's go ahead and heal on up. Ow. And you see, this is what I mean by you never know when you're going to need an auto res. 
I was not paying attention to my health as much as I needed to right there. So I got taken out pretty bad by um, by one of those, actually. So let's go ahead and heal on up. That bomb, I believe we've hit it, so it should be exploding here any second. Let's go ahead and hit it a couple more times. That is not a bomb. That is... There we go. There he exploded. Let's go ahead and fire up these uh, Mandragora. Oh, I am down to my last ether. That is kind of worrisome. That is not what I wanted to do. Alright, took that guy down. And I should have enough magic to take down this Mandrake. And now let's just go ahead and kill the worm. And mission complete. Very nice. You'll get two Lunar Harps for doing that. You have also completed a Tomberry. And that is going to unlock a couple stages for us. Uh, also, it is worth noting that in the process of getting to uh, 615, you will have had to complete 613, which is going to unlock the Jump Materia, which is another uh, Materia that we will need to have uh, for what we're trying to do. Um, but anyway, because we defeated the Tomberry in that mission, we will unlock the 10-2 mission, 10-2-1, uh, uh, which is find the Tomberry. We are going to be fighting another Tomberry in this mission. So that being said, bring your gravity. Doing that mission is going to unlock 10-2-2. Again, we are fighting more Tomberries. Bring gravity and ethers if you can afford them. And then completing that is going to unlock 10-2-3. Uh, that is going to be Tom Berry's knife uh, as the reward and a new image will be added to the DMW. Now what we are speaking of right there according to the mission is actually Tom Berry that will be getting added to our DMW. As we sit right now on my DMW, I don't have any summons. I have... The main characters, and or not the main characters, the first three characters, and literally nothing else. And that is where we want to be on this. Because the less chances we have of getting other characters, right now, uh, the, the better. We do not want to have Ifrit, because Ifrit is going to be coming up way more often than uh, that Magic Pot is going to be coming up. And if we complete this mission, uh, we unlock uh, Chocobo Summon, which completely destroys our chances of actually getting Magic Tomberry. Not Magic Tomberry, Magic Pot. Now, as for the equipment that we actually need for this, we need to have the Jump Materia, we need to have the Gravity Materia, we need to have a Fibra Materia, and the Assault Twister. You get the Assault Twister just given to you in the game. Now, I am going to go ahead and unequip the curse ring because we are going to be wanting to have that here in a moment. And let's go ahead and just turn on, or not turn on, give ourselves the, uh, let's go ahead and give ourselves the bronze armlet. Honestly, right now, doesn't really matter. But what we are going to do, we're going to come in here to the mission. Before I do that, I remember I have completely destroyed all of my uh, ethers. So I am going to purchase, you know what? I'm going to purchase 20 of them. Uh, that's going to be 4,000 gil. Going through the missions that we just did, you're going to be getting a fair bit of, of gil in the process. So if you need ethers, go ahead and buy some. But anyway, back to our missions. We're going to go to 10-2-3. And the main 
per or the main enemy in this area down there is going to be surprise surprise the master tomberry we do not want to fight him just yet we actually want to go to the little outcropping right above him on the map um because that is go going to uh, make our farm as easy as it can be so we are going to turn a complete 180 and just run down this way now Activating there is no mode. set spawn for the magic pot uh, right now we're going to be running away from all of the Tomberry battles I went the wrong way but we're going to be running away from all of the Tomberry battles right now and uh, there is only one battle that we are looking for right now in this area there is a chance for the uh, for the magic pot to spawn way. as opposed to tonberries and we want the magic pot to spawn so let's go ahead and get this get this working see Activating if we can't mode. get a magic pot to spawn relatively quickly if we have no luck I will have Activating to cut combat mode. Go ahead and check this one. Yeah, and we're just Activating going to be running uh, back and forth between these three areas right here. Seeing if we can get a, a pot to spawn. Activating combat mode. And if we get a, a, spot, a pot to spawn, then great. If we are not, then we're just going to flee Activating and go mode. to the next battle. But it doesn't look like we're having much luck right now. So I am mode. going to cut out me running back and forth, and we will be back when I get a magic pot. Activating combat mode. All right, so here we are with the magic pot. We are not going to attack him instead. Hi. He just told us to use jump, so we're going to go ahead and use jump on him. Now he's telling us to use Fyra, so we're going to go ahead and use Fyra. Now he's asking for a gravity. We are going to use gravity. And now he's asking for a salt twister, so let's go ahead and use a salt twister. He's now very happy, and he is going to run away from battle. Oh, yeah. And I leveled up. Complete very nice. Um, but the uh, the magic pot has now been added to our DMW. Uh, magic pot is a little bit of a weird summon. He doesn't actually attack anything. In fact, we mug the shit out of him. Um, which doesn't sound like the best thing to do but for right now it is what we want now we are almost ready to set up our farm that being said there is a couple more things we could do to cheese what we're about to do the next battle that we get into is from everything I have looked at, it is always going to start with a magic pot uh, summon. We want to get one of two items. We want to get either a mugger level three, at which point we will are going to get a Shinra beta plus armlet, which is a pretty good armlet for where we are right now, uh, which I will not disagree if we get that one. Uh, but what we really really want is to get the item mugger level 5 and get some gold Bowling pins gold pins, whatever they are. I forget exactly what they're called, but You'll know when you get level 5 uh, You can get one two or three of the gold pins and I believe one other item but we want one of the pens. We actually want quite a fair bit of the pens. Um, you can get lucky and do everything that we're about to do in 10 minutes, or you could be at this for a couple hours. Um, I want a boatload of gill before progressing much further into the game. I want, honestly, all the gill that I can get. I doubt I'm going to sit here and grind out 99 of the pens, but if I had the patience, I would. I'm probably going to go for around 10 to 15 pens if I have the patience for it. Um, 
but the reason why we want so many of the gold pins is because they sell for 50,000 gold each. And things that we are about to do are going to require a lot of gill. Along the way, we will also get some pretty nice items like Kaiser Knuckles and Crystal Armbands and a whole bunch of other things. But right now, all I care about are the gold pins. But how are we going to do this farm? Let's see if we can do it. We're going to run into this area right here. Activating combat mode. Preferably, we would have only two of the uh, two of the tomberries, but we have three in this one, and that is perfectly fine. We are going to want to murder like two of them. Brace yourself. Let's go ahead and click L3 and R3 because we got an item mug or level three. Let's see what item we get. We got Kaiser Knuckles, so not a bad item. Not what I'm looking for though. So I. I'm going to pause and forfeit the battle. That is um, failing the mission. And we're going to restart battle uh, from the start. Let's go ahead and try again. Activating combat mode. And this should allow our DMW to get another magic pot right away. There it is. What level did we get? We got another level 3. Right? Run for Let's it. see what item we get this time. We got a crystal orb. Again, a pretty nice item. Not what I'm looking for. So I am going to once again forfeit the battle. And retry from last battle. Try again. Activating combat mode. And while we're waiting, we might as well uh, kind of soften up a few of these palm berries. What level did we get? Looks like we got Bring another out level the big three. Guns. We got another Kaiser Knuckle again. Not what I wanted, but instead of. Uh, Instead of backing out this time, I'm going to show you how to set up the rest of the farm and uh, then I will just restart and do what I need to do. Um, let's go ahead and take out this Tomberry. If we want to we wanna KO uh, two of these Tomberries, tom we only want one left in the battle. So I am going to go ahead and use an ether. And nope, not that one. I wanted that one. And get behind this guy if I can. Doesn't look like I'll be able to. Preferably, we would not be doing as much damage to that last Tonberry because I don't want him to die. Ow. Let's go ahead and heal up. Heal up again. Can we please just kill him? Perfect. All right, so now that we have killed him, we are going to get this last Tonberry uh, to walk on over to us. He will most likely hit us with a couple Karma. Uh, as long as it doesn't kill you, that is perfectly fine. Come on, come here. Yeah, he's only doing 37 on those Karmas, at least for right now. And we're going to get away, get away, and kind of try to bash him into this corner. And then we're going to unlock and run all the way over here. If we got lucky, we'll have just trapped him in that corner over there. 
which I don't know if we did. Doesn't look like we were able to. But that doesn't matter. The Tomberry is so slow that right now we have at least two minutes of downtime before he makes it back to us. Uh, and we are quite literally just going to stand here, let him come to us. Eventually, uh, we will get another, um, another magic pot, at which point we will see what item we get. And we're just going to sit here and let the, the DMW roll. We're going to let it run, let it roll, let it, let it do its thing. Um, for a number of hours. Once we get the Tomberry stuck, we can quite literally just walk away from our game and let the game like spin like on its own and come back every couple of minutes to see if we if we have magic pot spot. If we have magic spot, we if we have a magic pot, we just go ahead and click our L3 and R3 and do our do our summon if we don't have it spawned then we just go away and we do some things for another couple minutes i think we might have actually got him stuck over there okay guess not but yeah so this is basically the farm once we get him stuck it, it's free it's a free roll of, of the dmw and we just, we walk away. We're good. Like, he won't be able to get to us. I think he might be stuck. Here we have another magic pot. Let's go ahead and see what we get. Magic Better pot. Run for it. If I am able to get the Shinra thing that I'm looking for, which I'm not, I got another pair of Kaiser knuckles. Hey, guess what? I probably don't need to equip two of those. So that's some more free, free gill right there. Uh, but yeah, it looks like the Tom Berry is actually stuck over there. So this is our free, our, our free DMW spinning. And as you can see, we're getting summons, we're getting uh, limit breaks, we're building up all of our DMW completion stuff. And technically speaking, I am also leveling up my Fyra, my gravity, my jump, and my assault twister material. So this is just what we're going to be doing. This is what I'm going to be doing, I should say, for the next couple of hours. Uh, I will come back at the end and show you guys what I got. Uh, but until then, have a good one. I'm not going to be doing anything for the next little bit. See you in a couple seconds for you, a couple hours for me. Alright, and after seconds for you and about 24 real life hours for me, uh, we are back. Uh, in game time, we have progressed about 10 hours or so. Uh, I did have to go to sleep and work and all of that good jazz. Uh, but we are back and we got quite a fair bit of good and useful things. So let's go ahead and check out uh, some of our equipment now. Uh, let's see, we now have two bronze bangles, which are in HP up uh, plus 20%. A couple titan bangles, which is 30%. A carbon bangle, which is HP up 40%. A platinum bangle, which is HP up 50%. I uh, believe we already have the bronze armlet. We now have a silver armlet, which is MP plus 40 and prevents silence. Uh, we have a couple power wrists, which is attack plus 10. Uh, we have seven of the Kaiser knuckles, which are going to be attack plus 30. Uh, we have the Shinra beta plus, uh, which is the item that I mentioned that I was hoping I could get. Um, I did eventually get it, but I didn't specifically restart the battle until I got it. Uh, probably would have been a little bit faster if I did, but I did eventually get it. This is the Vitality Plus 8. It is a uh, pretty big boost to our Vitality this early in the game. 
Uh, we got five royal crowns, which is magic plus 30. Uh, we got a crystal orb, which is our spirit plus 80. And we got a few feather caps. So the way you get the feather caps is after uh, you get the magic pot for the first time, uh, you do still have the chance to run into that guy. Uh, he will ask you for the same four abilities to be to be used so fire jump uh, gravity and assault twister and if you are able to do those he will give you a feather cap uh, which increases your parameter breaks by up to three times so you could break your limits up to three times uh, which can be useful in certain situations wasn't necessary for me during uh, what we were doing and then there's our dark battle or Gushful Green's Lunar Harp, and we also got 28 of the gold rolling pins. Uh, that is a very nice indeed. And there we have our thing for the uh, for the magic pot on the DMW. Now, if I come down here to my shop, I went one too far, and I go to sw uh, switch to sell. As you can see, the gold rolling pins are each worth 50,000 gil. Let's go ahead and do that. Uh, we have 1.4 million guild just in the gold rolling pins. So that's going to be a nice little starting point for when we do sell those. Um, we did also get a few materia along the way. Uh, I have been working on materia the last hour or so and uh, got pretty good. There's an HP up, attack up, magic up. We did grab a Libra from the magic pot. Uh, we did also grab a Kiriga. Um, and I believe that was all of the materia. But going through here, you can see I have my bonus of my basic um, materials mastered. I was just working on the attack up, HP up, MP up, all of those guys. But I decided to come back, did not need to max those out. Uh, but let's go ahead and finish off this mission real quick. I'll go ahead and put on Fyra again. Uh, gravity, jump, and assault twister, just in case we run into a magic pot and as you can see, I am in quite literally the exact same spot I was when I left. Uh, but let's go ahead and finish this mission. That way we can keep all of our rewards. Still not going to be fighting you guys. Oh, and uh, look down at my HP, MP, and AP. Um, I have broken my limits, so I am Activating combat quite a mode. Hey, look. Look who it is. It's a magic pot. Very nice. So he wants us to jump on him, so let's go ahead and jump. Then use Fyra, so let's use Fyra. Gravity. And it's all awesome. And now he's gonna give us another Feathers Cap, unless he has a rare eye. There we go. Because anyway, what I was saying, uh, Right now, because of how much my DMW has been spinning, my HP has maxed out, Activating my MP has maxed out, and uh, AP has maxed out, and all like broken their limits and all of that good jazz. So, I should be pretty set for this mission. Activating combat mode. For completing this mission, I could honestly probably take the Tom Berries on, but I don't feel like fighting any more Tom Berries right now. I have been doing this mission about 10 times and I have reset the encounter multiple times in that 10 hours. So I don't want to fight any more Tomberries, but we did get an X potion from that chest. And we have one more chest somewhere around here before we get to the final guy. There's our chest right there. Containing a mistle. I forget what you are. There it is. Uh, spirit and vitality plus 10, plus it prevents silence. So, 
I'm sure you Activating can find a use for that mode. if you want to use it. We don't need it right now, though. Is this the way I want to go? Yes, it is. And here we have our guy with the star above his head. So this is our master Tom Barry or whatever we call Activating him right now. Mode. So let's go ahead and take him on. Yep, I was right. Master Tom Barry. So we want to uh, deal as much damage to this guy up front as possible. He can teleport around the battlefield. Oh god, that is not what I meant to do. But so, just be ready to kind of dodge roll out the way if he suddenly disappears. Because he will show up next to you and try to stab you. Like that. And as you saw, he dealt quite a fair bit of damage. And we should be able to uh, take this guy out pretty easily at this point. Ah, uh, yes. And actually, I was about to get a magic pot. We got a level 3 magic pot. Let's One go ahead and see what I am not able to grab. Kaiser Knuckle? Nope. Royal Crown. Very nice. And let's go ahead and see if we can take out the Tonberry now. There we go. Oh yeah. And there is our Tonberry knife for completing the mission. And Tonberry has been added to the DMW. This is one of the reasons why you want to do magic uh, pot farming right now in this mission. Uh, it's because we unlock the uh, the Tomberry after completing this mission. And we unlock a whole third wheel of possible unlocks. Um, so your efficiency for doing the magic pot stuff uh, dies like dramatically if you finish this mission um which is one of the reasons why once i realized that i went i came back and i restarted chapter two and actually recorded this video um because i like efficiency and even though that took me 10 hours to to uh to get to where i was if i had decided to leave it i probably would have taken me 30, 40, 50 hours to get, to get done what I got done in that time frame. Uh, but anyway, here we have the that uh, that mode that I was talking about. It's called Chocobo Mode. Uh, all real images will change into Chocobo Mode images. And if they match a corresponding limit break, move will be added to your stock. However, there uh, may sometimes be duds. Yep, I got a level 5 dud did basically nothing to me but I was stunned for like I think it was like 15 seconds I can I could definitely see how that would be obnoxious in a mission uh, one more thing before we head out here we have the DMW uh, you could see that I have advanced my all of my guys pretty far except for Zen or Sing however you pronounce his name uh, because I haven't really done anything since unlocking him in story but uh angel is 75 percent done sephiroth is 30 percent done and i have basically 60 verges on both of them um as you can see down in the corner i have uh 46 possible uh magic box summons but i missed 10 of them so yeah I'd say out of 36 uh, completed summons, having, what was it, 29, 28 uh, gold pens is a pretty good yield. Uh, so yeah, at this point, I am going to go ahead and go through, oh wait, we just got our Thunder Blade right there, but at this point, I'm going to go through and... Uh, Kind of catch up to my previous save where I did all of the, I want to say level, we're up through all of the level 4 missions. Uh, so like this guy right here and all of the various missions that I have unlocked. 
I will, might as well also get Ifrit. I'm not 100% sure if I will do that yet, but I might. Um, and when I come back, actually the next episodes that come up are probably going to be me going through the uh, the missions. Just so you guys could, so, could watch them if you want. Just realize I am recording this after... Uh, recording those episodes so I do not have my current knowledge so you will see me doing stuff honestly kind of stupidly just know that I know that I'm stupid um, if you can get through those two episodes with me uh, we should be continuing story after that um, but until then guys this is famine 52 signing out and peace out